Hello everybody, my name is Brady and I'm a 19th century American historian and we are back with another React video. We're going to be doing more Salmonella. I don't know where to go with him anymore. I look through all his titles and I don't really know what I would know anything about. So I'm kind of just guessing at this point. This is one that came up a good amount in the comments. I'm not even sure how to say his name. He's going to definitely tell me. But it looks like Terrari... Uh, the Hungriest Man in History. That should be interesting. I, I'm kind of horrified at the thought of where this is going to go. Uh, just making sure our volume's good, and let's get it started. Oh, it's the song. You like the song. Hey, kids. I think we can all agree that there are few pastimes more grotesque than competitive eating. The concept of a I... bunch of guys pushing their anatomy to its limits just for sport leaves a bad taste in my mouth in more ways than one. But imagine if these men didn't adopt this habit just for fun. Imagine if some gross biological error forced them to eat like this for their entire life. Introducing Tarare. Tarare. Okay, that that's, that's not too far from how I pronounced it. Tarare. Okay. Terrari was born in France around 1772 to a poor farming family. It oh, this is really close to where, what I study. I, it, it's France and not America or anything, but I, I touch on some French stuff over during this time, so uh, it's very loosely related to what I study. I, I don't think I would ever find this guy on my own, but this should be fun. Terrari was born in France around 1772 to a poor farming family. It's said that his appetite was so voracious that, by his teens, Terrari could eat an entire quarter of a cow carcass in a single day. You'd think he'd be like mega obese, but no, he only weighed 100 pounds by age 17. However, there were still a few things that stood out about Terrari appearance-wise. For one, he had a huge, stretched-out mouth with horribly stained teeth. He could reportedly yeah. fit 12 eggs in his cheeks at once, much like a chipmunk keeping its chipmunk eggs warm. Additionally, when Terraria was full, he'd get a crazy octomom gut going, and Dang. any other time, he'd have a huge flap of stretched out skin hanging around his waist. He also stank to high hell, even by 18th century French peasant standards. He Dude, that must be awful. Like, so is the, is the gut itself, is the fact that his, like, stomach or whatever stretched the contributing factor to his hunger is it the fact that like he has so much more to fill i i don't really know how anatomy works in that way especially in such an extraordinary way like this um so it like it'll it's i mean it blowing up is not at all surprising with how much he eats but the fact that it uh it it is in that state w would it normally be in that state or is that a result of him eating so much and then him just getting like permanently stretched belly around his waist he also stank to high hell even by 18th century french peasant standards he was described as reeking quote to such a degree that he could not be endured within the distance of 20 paces so between all terrible. this and his horrendous outhouse flooding dumps his family had had enough all right you're eating us out of house and home here you gotta go man <laughs> You heard me kick bricks, Froggy. Wow, he just called a French person a frog. That's so racist. No, it's not. They're all <laughs> French. The guy just looks like a frog is all. Oh. Well, too late. I'm already offended. That's fair. Dislike. <laughs> After leaving home, Terrari was forced to beg and steal just to satisfy his gargantuan appetite. Inevitably, people began to take notice of him, and eventually he landed a job as a street performer in Paris. P this guy would have uh, fit in very well with P.T. Barnum and them if he was born in the right century. Um, yeah, like he he is like like the guy with the endless stomach. Any sort he would fit in that sort of like a circus thing. So I guess that's the direction he's going, which is uh, that makes sense. People began to take notice of him, and eventually he landed a job as a street performer in Paris. Mm. People would hand Terrari entire baskets of apples, eggs, and even wine corks, and watch in delight as he horked them down without the slightest hesitation. Dude, Normally, this like went off without a hitch, for except for one time when he suffered a severe intestinal blockage. Fortunately, the crowd was kind enough to carry him to the hospital, where he was treated with the strongest laxatives the 18th century had to offer. I would draw what happened next, but it would probably get my channel deleted, so let's just picture <laughs> it for a few moments. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Cut to the year 1792. This marks the beginning of the War of the First Coalition. Ever heard of it? Me neither. Who is in it? Fucking everyone. Anyway, Terrari <laughs> decided to enlist in the war. Hold on. Um, I haven't heard that terminology. 
Uh, maybe this is a conflict that's known under a different name. I, I gotta Never see heard who of it. Is Me neither. It. Who is in a fucking... Uh, oh, Holy Roman Empire, Habsburg... <laughs> yeah, everyone. I, I get I, just like all the major European powers. I don't know how big of a conflict. How do I not know about this? Oh, let let and everyone. Anyway, Terrari decided to enlist in the war. After all, maybe that profound emptiness he was feeling was just a lack of purpose in life. Turns out, no, he really was just psychotically hungry. Even oh wait, no, I know what they're. T I know the. It just occurred to me what war they're talking about. I just didn't think of it uh, as that term. Not. Uh, little moments like that. Uh, yeah, I know exactly what this war is now that I'm thinking about it. All right, let's continue. Everyone. Anyway, Terrari decided to enlist in the war. After all, maybe that profound emptiness he was feeling was just a lack of purpose in life. Turns out, no, he really was just psychotically hungry. Even after being granted quadruple rations, huh. Terrari would still be digging through oh. the trash pile whenever he got the chance. After suffering extreme exhaustion, he was sent off to the military hospital in Soutarin. The staff there was so dumbfounded by the man's abilities that they decided to keep him there to run a few experiments. The first of which involved putting Terrari in a room with a meal prepared for 15 people. Naturally, he ate the entire thing and immediately fell asleep. Next, they presented him with a raw eel. In response, oh, eels Terrari again. crushed the eel skull between his teeth before slurping down the entire creature in one go. Now, this is hair-clenchingly horrifying for a couple of reasons. Firstly, he put a whole frickin' eel in his stomach, but secondly, there had to be some point during digestion where the meat was gone but the bone still remained. Now, for those of you yeah. who don't know, an eel skeleton looks like this. That means Terrari had all of those needle-sized ribs stabbing into the walls of his stomach at once, and he was fine. I... Th that is totally insane i think of like dogs eating chicken bones and they'll they'll struggle significantly and i i don't understand how a human body could do that uh salmonella is more like at first we were doing history but now it's just like absolute marvels of human capacity to endure i guess I, it that is something else all of those needle-sized ribs stabbing into the walls of his stomach at once, and he was fine. He also fine. ripped a live cat apart with his bare hands, drank its blood, and ate everything but its bones, and then later gagged up the fur and skin like an owl, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Okay, stopping here. I'm going to check the description box below, because I, I need to see if he has citations for this one. This is absolutely absurd. Okay, so I checked, and no, no, no citations on this one. Some of his videos, or at least one or two of them I've seen, ha have, like, little, uh, a few links down there. I, I wanted to see if there was anything for this one, but m maybe there's other stuff on this guy. Sometimes with Salmonella, like, I, I don't know how much I can buy, because the, the way he emphasizes the more ridiculous side of things... It makes it almost impossible to believe. So I, I, I would love to take this back to its source. After reviewing our data, I've come to the scientific conclusion that, uh, yeah, we got a goddamn demon on our hands. <laughs> As we all know, with great devour comes that great responsibility. Right. Since Terrari was still technically enlisted, the military decided to utilize his abilities for the greater good. Hey, Terrari, it's me, the general. Listen, could you eat this box with a note in it for me? Mm. If you do it, we'll give you a wheelbarrow full of bull organs. <laughs> <laughs> Lo and behold, two days later, he passed the container in mint condition and was given really? his reward as promised. With this proof of concept, they made him an official spy and sent him into Prussia with a document in his belly to be oh, delivered to an imprisoned that's really French smart. colonel. Unfortunately, there are a couple things Terrari couldn't do that are generally important when sneaking into another country. A, he couldn't speak German, and B, it's pretty hard to maintain a low profile when you're running around like a madman wolfing down garbage and mutilating small animals. So he ended up being captured by the enemy. Initially, uh. he kept his mouth shut, for once, but after a whipping and a day in jail, Terrari gave in. After confessing that he did, in fact, have vital intelligence sneaking its way through his GI tract, the Prussians chained him to a latrine until the box emerged 30 hours later the no i still don't understand what this guy's about like what is his condition uh is there a word for this or is he just a one-of-a-kind creature whatever he i i i'm having i'm having trouble understanding like is he just like extra is this just extraordinary behavior uh mixed with like a weirdly tolerant stomach or 
Is there like something very specific that you could tie this to? No, it wasn't actually anything important, so they just mock executed him, gave him a severe beating, and sent him on his way. After all that, Terari returned to life at the hospital, desperate for a cure for his condition, but nothing they ever tried worked. Right. Meanwhile, the man's endless Hold on, I, I always like to read these. Desperate things. for a cure for his condition, but nothing. Tobacco pills, opium, t vinegar, juice cleanse. Tell him to just quit being fat. Uh, throat cork? Okay, uh. Give up and start a business making IRL war. Thing they ever okay. tried worked. Meanwhile, the man's endless hunger continued to get him into all sorts is. of trouble. <laughs> He'd often sneak out of the hospital to eat the scraps behind the local butcher and fight stray dogs in the alley for their precious garbage. He'd also seek out patients undergoing bloodletting in order to take all their life juice for himself. On There's several no way this is real. Attempting to eat bodies in the mortuary. By this point in my research, I was so desensitized to this guy that I didn't even bat an eye when I first read that. I was just like, all right. Guess he must have been hungry. Anyway, the hospital staff begrudgingly tolerated Tarare's buffoonery until one day when he went too far. Well, t this is... It's only been like five minutes. Oh my gosh. Like, the pace of this, he's like packing so much into such a short period of time at this story that it's like too much at once to take in. Uh, okay. Tarare, you've only had three mess hall raids, four miscellaneous trash related mishaps, and one cadaver defiling. So I'd say so cadaver. far this week's been pretty good. No. Uh, doctor, we should probably inform you that a fourteen month old child has gone missing from their room. No, he he didn't. Tarare, look at me. Did you eat a fucking baby? Terrari was promptly kicked out of the <laughs> Just like those little things where like he's clearly really up on his microphone when he says it. It's so perfect. I'm I re I usually like to actually do the history with this stuff. This has become just a a regular laughing at the video reaction video. I, I'm i I'm sorry, this is not how I usually would do things, but like I don't even know how to contribute to this hospital and spent four years out and about doing you know whatever horrific shit you can imagine when he came back he was suffering from advanced tuberculosis and died shortly after arrival during his autopsy the surgeons found that when they looked into his mouth they could see all the way down his throat and into his stomach cavity as you can imagine his whole abdominal region was profoundly deformed basically if this is a normal human this is what they found inside terrare just like Ooh. the man's mind we can see that around 90 percent is devoted towards food and 10 percent towards everything else but is that like, was he born with a weird shaped inside or was that like formed by his eating habits? Because you, you're only getting to him after he's dead. Like, who knows what he was like early on? I, I just, I just don't understand. What's his deal this, this whole time? I, I'm just looking for a diagnosis. So moral of the story here is that, no, you know what? Not even I can find anything resembling a moral here. Not all stories have a point to them. Sometimes they're just sad and disgusting from beginning to end. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsor. As you okay. can probably tell, I'm a very visual person when it comes to learning. Very I good. firmly believe that engaging visuals are an essential teaching tool that allows for much deeper comprehension than plain old walls of text. That's why I'm pleased... I'm going to watch his ad because I, I think his ads are usually really good. If you want to skip this, you can. You, you can skip it on my video, but uh, you should feel bad about it if you do is to introduce our sponsor, Brilliant.org. We all know that math and science are really important to master, and Brilliant's elegant UI and step-by-step -step design makes learning seemingly complex topics very intuitive, especially mm. for visual learners. Their straightforward graphics, delightful animations, and interactive puzzles make it easy and fun to hone your own critical thinking skills. Personally, I've always been super intrigued by neural networks and all the things you can do with them, but I've always been too intimidated to research them in depth. After mm. learning about Brilliant, I actually started taking their course in the subject. And I gotta say, it's been such a pleasurable experience that I plan to continue with it in my own spare time. To Perhaps I could learn about anatomy, because clearly the, the last couple uh, Salmonella videos that covered anything, like, anatomical, I, I've pretty much shown that I know nothing about that stuff. Like, the one about, like, the brain, the brain injuries, I had no idea what to talk about when it came to that sort of stuff. So I, that would be a nice thing to learn about one day. To support me and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash salmonella and sign up for free. Also, the first Quite 200 right. people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Till next time, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching.
Thank you, sir. That was absolutely absurd. And I'm going to have to look this guy up and see if he has, I don't know, at least a Wikipedia page. I don't know how much further I'm willing to go into him. Um, it's almost upsetting to learn about, but I, I would like to at least understand, like, medically what was going on with them. That, that would be interesting. Or if they ever found out exactly what his issue was. Um, dude, that, that was awful. <laughs> I mean, it was a good video, but it was an, a ki kind of an awful experience at the same time, and I, I think that's kind of what he was going for. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't give any historical input here. That, that was, uh, that was an unexpected story to say the least. Uh, but I enjoyed it. And with Salmonella's videos, I don't really know where to go from here. So, uh, leave your suggestions because I look through them and I have no idea if I'll know anything about any of them. Uh, I went through the ones where I felt like I'd know a thing or two about them pretty early. And then from then on, it's just been, we've just going with it so thank you for watching this video like if you enjoyed it uh subscribe for more content every single day and i will see you guys next time thank you